This is my. You to get the, your who, what, and where out the first three lines. You might remember this from college. Uh, you who, what, and where out the first three lines. And also, always say yes and, and don't ask questions and don't say. What no. do you What do you mean your who, what, and where? Who, what, and where? Like if if, if you started a scene, you would try and get the uh, who you were, yeah. what you were doing, and where you were in your first three lines. Oh. So it'd be like. Hello, Mrs. Smith, my teacher. Here we are in the classroom. I'm at detention again. Yeah, yeah. And then when I started teaching, yes, and yeah. And then when I started teaching, it just seems I realized it seems so stilted. And and what I so so improv is still evolving. Yeah. And and so what I realized is you don't need to know where you are or who you are to each other or what you're doing. You just need to make the audience believe you know. Does that make sense? Yeah. And what that got, and when, when people started doing that, I'm not saying I thought of it, I just came to realize that. Probably many people thought of it long before I did, uh, before I realized it. But what that did is it made the scenes a little more natural. Yeah. You know? And then uh, another th rule was don't ask questions. And the reason we did that, and we kind of do that in the beginning, is because a lot of times we'll ask questions because a uh, few reasons. One, we're stalling for time. Yeah. We don't know what to say, so if I ask you a question, I put it on you. I right. sure didn't know what to say, so that's why I asked the yeah. questions. But uh, what happens, especially when we're beginning, yeah. it's natural, and also it's natural for us to ask questions because that's what we do in real life. Does yeah. that make sense? So in the beginning, it's, it's going to happen. Uh, another reason we ask questions is uh, we're asking permission for our ideas. You know, like, I have an idea, but I want to, what if we go to the store? As opposed to, let's go to the store. Does that make yeah. sense? Um, and uh, but we found too that um, and I, for now I want us to get rid of questions, but then we're going to allow it because sometimes uh, uh, questions can also be a gift and give something to the other person. It depends on how we use it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? But uh, uh, what I wanted, especially in this exercise, is I want it to come from you. A lot of times when we ask questions, we're just then we're just getting information. Yeah, yeah. You know, and we can ask questions and still uh, give information, like, but it depends on how we ask it. Does yeah. that make sense? Where were you? You know? Yeah. And I was just asking where I was. I was. I was where were you? Yeah. And that gives information to Jennifer's character. Where were you? Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, uh, and then another one. Uh, yes, and it's great. We we used to go with not only that. Yes, and is yes, I hear you, and this is how I feel about it. Uh, and then also, no. A lot of times. Uh, people will say no, no, I almost didn't know I have a better idea, or no, I don't want to go there. But sometimes I found that, you know, when I, back when I started studying, was you never say no. But if I'm going to see it and someone says, I'm going to set you on fire, I might say, no, you're not. <laughs> Does that make sense? But then I'll, that also established our relationship. Yeah. There's an ex wife right there. The first one, not the one you know. Right, right. Okay. So, but the reason I don't want to, I'm trying to get you away from asking is the habit of asking questions is so you can you can um, come from a place of giving rather than taking. Yeah. Does that make sense? And every question is a statement. Come from a place from giving rather, rather than, than taking. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You got like the best. You got like the best little time. quotes. Yeah. How should I make a fortune cookie? I know. I'm just a little little Yoda. Bulb Yoda. Yoda. You ready? What goes with bond anyway? Oh. Yeah. And the first thing she did was she got out this thing that's called a smock. Whoa. 
Uh, Smart. Yeah. No, I know, right? Smart. Smart. Seriously. Don't, uh, let's get rich now. I know. <laughs> right? I know. <laughs> She's super fancy, and I have Velcro. Mm -hmm. whoa, whoa. So she puts on the smock, mm -hmm. smock Velcro, then she walks me over. I'm not going to. There was a sink. There was a sink, and she turned the water. Sure. And then she tested it to see if the water was too cold or too hot. Was it? Was it too cold? It was, was exactly hot? right. I only ask you this. I only ask you this because I know how water feels sometimes. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> see. Makes this person true. Does that make sense? And uh, you know, and one of the things that I love about improv is we create our own little world. And they created a world where getting your haircut is such a big deal. You know, and even, the, even though it's a it can be, but someone else other than Jennifer is saying it, it could be a boring story. But you make it work. Uh, but you know, just based on on his reaction, it becomes becomes an event. Not not only just an event, an event that we want to watch. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. We create our own little worlds where we create the, tr the truth of this world. Uh, what was their relationship? Do we know? I seem like friends. Yeah. Friends, friends yeah. Like Do we but care? We <laughs> to the club. Uh, yeah. yeah. I bought in. Yeah, I bought into it. We, it. we didn't know specifically, but we didn't care because they acted as they knew. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, my rule of thumb is you do it on stage if you do it in, uh, in, in real life. Like in real life, I'm not like, hey Rich, it's good to see you. Uh, it's been so much fun with you being an improv student at my improv school, you know. It's like, if I saw Rich on the street, I'd be like, hey Rich, what's going on? Right? Yeah, or I, I love scenes where people are driving. It sounded like you were reading off a teleprompter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just rolling my eyes. There's always it's a teleprompter. to be here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. TV music <laughs> <laughs> But I love when people are doing scenes where they're driving and they're talking about their driving. As if we do that in real life. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to turn left here. Uh, no, what do we do when we're driving? We just turn left. Right. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. uh, cool. Uh, you're out, you're in. I need someone to tell me a, a, a story with emphasis. Absolutely. All right, give her. Yay, good job. This is my.